Welcome back. Well, media has gone so far beyond newspapers, radio, and television. There are so many ways to produce and consume what is now considered media. It can be incredibly hard to keep up with, but the Grand Rapids Public Library wants to help us all understand this growing world a little bit better. They are hosting their first ever Media Literacy Summit. Welcome to Sam Easter from the library to tell us more about this event. Thank you so much for being here. Happy to do it. All right, so this is the first ever. Tell me about the inspiration and, and what this is all about. So it's like you just told our audience here, you know, media has been changing quite a bit over the last, think about 20 years ago, you know, kids had paper routes. Um, <laughs> I struggle to think 20 years ago what kind of social media there was. And, and nowadays people are getting their news in all kinds of different ways, right? Like you say, it's not just about radio, newspapers and TV anymore. So with all that change has come a lot of uh, um, different um, new ways to get the news. We talk a little bit about social media. We talk a little bit about some things that might confuse people a little bit. Um, they might feel a little bit distant from where they get their news from. What this lets people do um, is really think about, um, you know, what's going on in my community? You know, what do these sources of news look like? How do they get produced? It, I really encourage people to think about it. You know, you've heard of South by Southwest, right? You've heard of, like, say, an Ideas Festival. What this is going to be is um, a series of um, panels with really smart people in local media um, talking about big issues of the day. Um, we're going to have a documentary showing in the middle of the day. Um, we're going to have some light refreshments. And we really invite people to come on out and, and, and just explore and learn a little bit more about the world around them. Sure. So, so who is this good for? I mean, this is an all-day event. Um, and, and, and can you pop in for one or two sessions? Or, and, and, and tell us, you know, who is this going to benefit? It's going to benefit everybody, right? If you're living in the community and you have questions about civic life, about what's going on in the news, which is most people, um, this is going to be for you. Like you say, you can drop in, you can be there for, you know, one session with some panelists, be there, see a documentary, you can be there, see another one, come in and out. We really want people to get whatever they can get out of the day. There's going to be some really interesting people there. There's going to be um, local journalists. There's going to be former CNN producer, um, people who have a lot of experience and can share a lot of smart ideas. Sure. Why is it important to do something like this? Well, you know, we think a lot about, uh, you know, misinformation in the news. We think a lot about how people are, say, a little bit distant from um, the sources uh, of news that they have, maybe have some questions about what it looks like. What this does is, you know, you hear that word demystify a lot, sure. right? People can come in and they can ask questions. They can um, um, learn new things. And, and hopefully when they walk out, um, they have a better understanding of, you know, not just their community, but the people who are telling them about their community. It, it really builds that trust and helps people get closer to, yeah. to the people who are doing the news. Wonderful. And, and so um, tell us a little bit about, this is, you have some partnerships and you're working with some other organizations to put this on. Tell us about that. Yeah, of course. This is going to be funded by the Grand Rapids Public Library Foundation. Um, of course, we're one of the partners and our other partner is the Community Media Center and GRTV. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so do people have to pre-register? What, what else do they need to know if, if this is interesting to them? No, this is a free event. It's over at the Wealthy Theater in Grand Rapids. It's going to be starting at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, May 13th. We just encourage people to drop in. It's going to be running until about 5 p.m. Um, going to be a great opportunity to just learn more things and, and get excited about media in the community. Absolutely. And you're, you're actually going to be one of the panelists as well. You are a journalist. And, and, and so That's true, how do you feel time. about being, being a part of this? I'm really excited. You, you know, there's, there's so much stuff that um, in journalism we, we think about that we never really get to tell the public about, right? We're often doing our stories where we're telling people the news. But when it comes to things like, you know, the changes in our community that we really care about, right? Let's say social media may be changing the way we do the news. Um, that's stuff that we really want to share with people. Um, we want them to understand um, how much we care about the communities that we live and work in, um, how much we're really working for them. Um, and, and we really hope that pe that comes through for people. I love that. Thank you, Sam, so much for being here. We really appreciate it. I hope it is a fantastic event. Let's make sure people get there. This is coming up May 13th, so um, a couple weeks away. Mouthy Theater starts at 9.30, runs till 5 o'clock. You want to learn more about the panels, about who's going to be there, about things you can learn, grpl.org. We'll be right back.